The function f of x equals x to the x is an example of a function that requires logarithmic differentiation. And this is the first example we've run into like this because um, there aren't any particular rules that we've studied up to this point that um, handle the case when x is in both the base and the exponent. Whenever x is in the base, we have a power rule. Whenever x is in the exponent, we have derivatives of exponentials. But right now, this is a function where we have x in both places. And so here, uh, logarithmic differentiation is required. Okay. So to do logarithmic differentiation, what we need to do is we first rewrite. So I usually go ahead and let it be y equals your f of x. So y equals x to the x. Once we rewrite, uh, we take the natural log. So we'll say ln both sides. And the whole purpose of introducing the natural logarithm is so that we can uh, use logarithm rules to rewrite something algebraically. In particular, this logarithm um, allows us to bring powers down front. And so uh, now we're ready for algebra. The algebra that we are going to be doing is bringing that x down front. And the whole purpose of that is to get rid of the problem that we had an x in the base and in the exponent. Now we don't. However, do notice that whenever we have a problem that has x in the base and x in the exponent, when you bring the, um, the function that has x in the exponent, the the exponent part down, um, you're going to create always a product rule required function here or side for the derivative. So at this point, we're ready to take the derivative. So here we go. So we have the derivative of each side, um, and we have the derivative on the left-hand side being the y prime over y. On the right-hand side, we need a product rule. So that would be the derivative of the first term, that first term is x, times um, natural log of x, the second one, plus the first term, which is x again, and this time the derivative of the second one. So natural log of x. So to complete the derivative, we need to go ahead and take those small derivatives inside the product rule. So the derivative of x is simply one. So we have 1 times natural log of x plus we've got x times the derivative of natural log of x is um, 1 over x. So when we're looking at this, we've got y prime over y is equal to natural log of x plus we've got an x times a 1 over x. So altogether, that would just be 1. So we've got this, um, the next step being the multiplying over both sides by y. So multiply both sides by y, or we'll say multiply the y over. When we multiply the y over, we have y prime equals y times parentheses, and you always want the parentheses there, because in general, that's there are going to be multiple terms on the other side, separated by addition and subtraction. And then to finish up, we go ahead and insert our functions. So we've got f prime of x equals the y, which was our f of x, our x to the x, and then it's multiplied by natural log of x plus 1 as our final answer.